As we get close to the second anniversary of the James Webb Space Telescope's launch, one thing is crystal clear. It's completely changing how we see the universe. In just 20 months, Webb has flipped our understanding of space on its head. It's not just delivering stunning images. It's revealing deep cracks in our current cosmological models. And now, scientists are facing big questions with no easy answers. Like this one. When exactly did the very first star clusters come together to form the earliest galaxies? We still don't know for sure, and Webb is proving that the story is a lot more complicated than we thought. But before we dive into this cosmic mystery, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button so more space lovers can join us for this wild ride through the universe. Let's get into it. For years, cosmologists believed that galaxies formed slowly, gradually taking shape in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope is shaking things up, forcing scientists to seriously rethink those long-held ideas. According to the standard theory, early baby galaxies didn't really grow up until one to two billion years into the universe's life. They were thought to start small, dwarf galaxies, slowly merging and colliding over time to become giants like the Milky Way. Back then, the universe was in what's called the Cosmic Dark Ages, a period where everything was wrapped in a thick fog of neutral hydrogen. That fog trapped the light from the very first stars and galaxies. The belief was, not until a billion years after the Big Bang did that fog lift, when hydrogen atoms were ionized and light could finally break free, letting galaxies start to shine. But then, James Webb happened, and what it saw was nothing short of a game changer. Webb spotted thousands of bright, early galaxies, some shockingly similar to our own Milky Way. That discovery stunned astronomers. Why? Because these galaxies were too big and too bright to have formed so early. If a galaxy is glowing like that, it usually means it's massive, full of stars. But here's the thing. There simply shouldn't have been enough time for them to grow that large. It left scientists wondering, how did these galaxies get so big so fast? And why are they so bright, when they technically shouldn't even exist yet? They even gave this cosmic puzzle a name, too big, too soon. To get answers, researchers turned to a powerful supercomputer. They ran complex simulations, modeling the early universe, tracking how gas came together to form stars, and how those stars began shaping entire galaxies. They factored in mass, energy, momentum, and chemical makeup to recreate the universe's first few hundred million years. And what they found was surprising. Instead of forming stars at a steady pace, like galaxies today, these early galaxies may have gone through violent, explosive bursts of star formation, followed by quiet periods. This intense, stop-and-go process called bursty star formation could explain why those early galaxies were shining so brightly. They were literally lighting up the universe in rapid flashes, a cosmic let-there-be-light moment. So now, scientists believe that the incredibly bright galaxies Webb found in the universe's earliest days might be the result of these sudden starbursts. It's a fresh perspective on how galaxies formed, and a powerful reminder that the universe still has plenty of secrets left to share. When the James Webb Space Telescope kicked off its science mission in summer 2022, it didn't waste any time shaking up our understanding of the universe. Right out of the gate, Webb started spotting high redshift galaxies, ancient galaxies that appeared as they were when the universe was less than 400 million years old. And here's the twist. They were way brighter than what the standard model of cosmology says they should be at that age. That unexpected brightness led some scientists to wonder if our entire model of the universe's evolution might be flawed. You see, the standard model says galaxies should start off small and grow over billions of years, 
merging through cosmic webs of dark matter, slow and steady. But these early galaxies web found, they're already shining bright, like fully grown systems. So what gives? Thanks to advanced simulations, scientists now have a theory. Galaxies don't have to be massive to shine bright, not if they're forming stars in intense, short bursts. These bursty star formations can send out huge flashes of light, making a small galaxy look super luminous. In other words, these surprisingly bright galaxies don't necessarily break the standard model. They just reveal that galaxy growth may have been more explosive and chaotic early on than we thought. But even with that explanation, Webb is still pushing the boundaries and exposing some serious cracks in our current model. One major issue? Galaxies forming way too early. We're talking just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, which, on a cosmic clock, is practically instantaneous. According to the traditional model, galaxies weren't supposed to show up until at least one billion years after the universe began. But Webb has shattered that idea, showing us massive, fully formed galaxies sitting right on the edge of the observable universe. Let's talk about some of the wildest discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope has made. Discoveries that are throwing some serious curveballs at what we thought we knew about the universe. First up, Macy's Galaxy. So far, this is the oldest galaxy Webb has spotted. It existed when the universe was just 390 million years old. In cosmic terms, that's practically newborn. For reference, our universe is about 13.8 billion years old, so that's incredibly early in its timeline. But here's the kicker. Macy's galaxy isn't alone. It's just one of many early galaxy candidates Webb has picked up on. That means even older galaxies could be waiting to be confirmed. The deeper we look, the more the timeline of the universe starts to blur. Number two, a cosmic crash no one expected. Just when scientists thought they had a solid theory on how and when galaxies merge, Webb threw another wrench into the works. It spotted two massive galaxy clusters colliding very early in the universe's history. This colossal smash-up created what's now called the El Gordo Galaxy Cluster. The catch? This happened when the universe was only about half its current age. According to the standard cosmic timeline, that's way too early for something this big. You see, the current model says galaxies form first, then over billions of years, gradually merge into larger structures. So how did El Gordo form so fast? That's the big question, and it's making scientists seriously reconsider whether the model needs tweaking or a full rewrite. Number three, black holes that showed up way too soon. When Webb zoomed in on some of the earliest galaxies, tiny red specks from the dawn of time, it found something totally unexpected. Powerful whirlpools of gas swirling in their centers. What could cause that kind of chaos? The best explanation so far, massive black holes, each weighing millions of times more than our sun, tearing through their surroundings. And they're not rare. Webb found a whole bunch of them, these could be the ancestors of today's supermassive black holes. But here's the twist. We thought black holes started small and grew over time. Webb's findings suggest that some might have been born huge, or they grew at a mind-blowing pace right after the Big Bang. Even stranger, scientists expected to find smaller, fast-growing black holes. But instead, they found these big guys, fully formed, and ready to stir things up. That doesn't match current theories of galaxy or star formation. Number four, the mystery of the missing heavy elements. So, not only did the James Webb Space Telescope uncover massive early galaxies, it found out they're breaking the rules too. A team of astronomers used Webb to look over 12 billion years into the past peering into the ancient universe to study galaxies and how they've evolved over time. What they discovered was shocking. These early galaxies had way fewer heavy elements. 
things like carbon, oxygen, and iron than scientists expected. Why is that such a big deal? Because in galaxies that formed later, there's a clear pattern. The more stars and mass a galaxy has, the more heavy elements it contains. But these ancient galaxies, they're not following the script. This kind of chemical gap had never been seen before, mostly because previous telescopes weren't powerful enough to measure the elements in galaxies that far back, about 11 billion years ago or more. But Webb changed the game. By looking back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, Webb revealed something totally unexpected, a break in the relationship between star formation, galaxy size, and chemical composition. It's like the universe was following a different set of rules in its early days. And the most exciting part, Webb is just getting started. It's expected to keep operating for at least another 10 to 20 years, and the discoveries it'll make in that time could totally reshape how we understand the origin and evolution of everything, from stars and galaxies to the elements that make up life itself. So now we want to hear from you. What do you think is going on out there? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're reading them. And if you're loving this deep space content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned because the universe is just starting to tell its story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.